Hey there everybody, welcome back. Hopefully this video finds you well. Today we are gonna take a look at an offering from Outdoor Herbivore. It's actually been a while since I've done any of these. Uh, these are by and large either vegan or vegetarian meals, so sans meat. Now in this one we have in quotations, cheddar mac. <laughs> so this is a, you know, I hesitate to say macaroni and cheese because it's not. It has no uh, cheese in it at all because that wouldn't make it vegan, would it? So we have the creamy flavors of cheddar, kale, and sun-dried tomatoes with instant wheat pasta. Better than cheddar, but without dairy. Uh, I don't know about that, but we shall see. So this is a one serving pouch, 110 calories, ready in 10 minutes or so they say, requires a cup and a half of water or excuse me, calories per ounce is 110, the actual calorie content is uh, 530, 530. So, nutritional information if you're interested in that. Big protein in there, look at that, 30 grams, it's ridiculous. And, uh, oh God, B, B12, 540% of your uh, recommended daily volume, whatever, yeah, okay, sure. Ingredients list here, so we have the nutritional yeast, which uh, is definitely used in a lot of vegan cooking. Uh, vitamins, onions, unbleached durum wheat flour, uh, tomato, kale, parsley, sea salt, garlic, paprika, mustard, turmeric. So we shall see. Uh, okay, so again, a cup and a half or 350 mils of boiled water. Uh, let's just go ahead and get in here and see what it looks like. Oh, okay. Do we have any? Do we have the oxygen absorber? Did they say? Doesn't say anything about it. it. Looks like maybe we don't. So yeah, kind of different noodles in there. S smell it. Mmm. Okay. It smells like onions. I do love onions. That's all it really smells of. So uh, mild disclaimer. I know people get tired of it, but generally speaking, when I add my water here, I will add what I feel is enough to kind of make it look like what it should when it's done reconstituting. And then I'll add just a little bit more uh, because things like pasta and beans and rice do require a reasonable amount of water just to uh, reconstitute properly. But as always, go by the instructions. If you're unfamiliar, go by the instructions and, and normally they're pretty good. All right. Oh yeah, my, my. Yes, a lot of onion, a lot of onion in this bad boy just a little bit more in there. Don't want to make it too soupy, but I do want to allow this pasta enough liquid to properly reconstitute. I'll be honest, I kind of like my mac and cheese a little bit runny anyway. I think that that should be adequate for now. And we'll seal this back up. And again, I normally like to check in at about the five minute mark, whatever the halfway point is. And if I need to add a little bit more water, I can. But for now, we're gonna let this sit and we'll come back and try it. All right, I think our cheddar mac has had enough time to sit. Looks fairly well reconstituted there. Hopefully, I added, a, oh, dang it. See, this isn't on the company. This is definitely on me. See, this is what irritates me. It's, and that's why I don't mind mixing and mixing while one random person tells me to stop mixing as much. There's always powder left behind. Anyway, let's go ahead. I'm sure the rest of it will be fine. Let's go ahead and try it out and uh, you know, see what non-cheddar cheddar mac tastes like. A nice little cluster there. That's interesting. Um, that is an interesting flavor. Try a little bit more here. All right. Um, so the pasta itself, a little gummy. Not terrible, but a little gummy. Um, 
this kind of tastes like vegetable stock. Yeah, it just kind of tastes like vegetable stock. There is certainly a creamy component to it. Onions. Tomatoes, sure. Kale, yeah. There is a little bit of that kale on the back end. Sort of like an aftertaste of kale. Uh, God, what? Mm. It's not bad. It's not mac and cheese, though. But there is a there is a sharpness that does kind of get brought in with that with that nutritional yeast. Um, I mean, overall, it's it's okay. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is the best. I wouldn't necessarily put it up against real mac and cheese because I think it would lose. But it does taste kind of hearty, you know. Um, and very vegetable heavy. Very much vegetable heavy. Honestly, there's a taste of peas in there too. There's no peas, right? No. No, there's not, but it does kind of taste like peas for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, you do get the kale. You do get the onions. I would almost say too many onions, if I'm just being honest. There's a little bit too much of that onion flavor in there. It's not a horrible thing. It's just a little much. Um, yeah, it's interesting. It's its own thing. It's not mac and cheese, but it is its own thing. And it does have an interesting flavor. Um, of course, as always, you know, if I were just starving, would I eat it? Well, of course. It's good. It's just not like... It's not great, but it is good. Um, but again, to the, to the question of does it approximate mac and cheese, I, I wouldn't know. I don't think so. I think it's more akin to a, to kind of like, a, honestly, I don't know. I think it's a, its own thing. It's just like a, it's a pasta dish with yeasty elements, onions, back in kale and sun-dried tomatoes. I mean, it is what it is. It's interesting, not my favorite, but it's okay. So, yeah, there you go. Have any of you tried this? In the comments below, let me know if you've tried it. Let me know what you think of it. I'd love to hear your opinions as well. Uh, and also leave suggestions for future videos. Always love hearing from you guys, you know, with all your suggestions. If you'd like to send something in to be reviewed on the channel, the PO box is in the description. The Patreon link is down there as well if you'd like to help out the channel. Don't have to, but it's there. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.